Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting to the video, all right? Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Leo, what's going on for Leo? We're gonna start with love. What's going on for Leo? All right, so the deck is upside down. Okay. So all you need to, all you need is to believe in yourself. So it's like, maybe you're not having what you want in your re relationship, in your love relationship, because you don't believe in you. And that kind of exudes from you. You know, your person can pick up on that energy there and they can feel your insecurity. And if you're insecure, then it kind of makes them insecure too, but in a different fashion. If you don't believe, then they don't believe. Let's see. If they don't believe it can work, that you guys are meant to be. Yeah, the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. Um, I don't know if there has been talks of separation of, you know, going going two different ways, going separate ways here, or maybe there is separation. Um I think it's been talks of it, but it, you both aren't ready for the hurt. Yeah, it's in, you are spiritually connected to those you love. So it's like you both know that you're connected to one another. You both are just not willing or ready to go through the, I heard growing pains, the painful, you know, breakup. You will meet your soulmate when the time is right. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody who is not your soulmate. You don't want to let it go because you don't want to feel the pain. Therefore, you stay, but you're also in pain there. You could be of two minds about making this move, but you're not you're not doing anything because you're confused or you want to maintain this level of confusion because in confusion, you don't make a decision. In confusion, you don't you don't make any moves. And that's where you found yourself stuck and complacent there. What's going on here? Infertility issues. Now, it could be something with maybe fertility in terms of um, having a child. But this also could be about not being able to make turn this relationship around breathe new life or birth something new between the two of you You could be having some vivid dreams your dreams are speaking to you trying to tell you something uh it could be your ancestors your guides really trying to impress on your heart and your mind this is that and that is this um physical fight coming out maybe you and this person fight or you fought or um, there will be a fight here because because somebody's been creeping. Um, somebody somebody has a, a late night little sneaky link, but somebody wants to stick around for all that they can gain or what they have gained with their partner. They could be materialistic. Somebody could be dangerous when pushed to watch your back, um, watch your back, or you tell somebody else to watch their back. Um, there's an energy of maybe somebody stalking, gang stalking, ganging up on you. It could be family members, what I'm hearing. Oh, gosh. Um, you could be getting bright flashes of light, you know, um, downloads here. Yeah, you know, somebody's traveling with their boyfriend or their girlfriend that you're traveling to. Secret plans to propose marriage. Maybe something is going to turn around. I, homeless and in need. This is just the craziest. It can't get over you. So somebody is in a place of just despair and lack. Some of you could have some good news coming to you. Someone could want to propose. Some of you are staying in a relationship out of the fact of not wanting to feel the pain of separating. Yeah, somebody gets around. Somebody is a club hopper or... Sometimes this card comes out when somebody has a lot of different people that they bounce to and fro. They could have a rotation of people, you know. Uh, let's see what career and finance offers you, uh, Leo. So someone could want to propose. You guys are going to travel somewhere and there's going to be a proposal. Uh, it's like I'm reading for a lot of different Leos. Some of you could, you need to leave something. 
welcome the news your newness is coming for you in your career and your finance so that is really good are you going to bring something new into to yourself business or are you going to get um promotion or are you going to get a certificate relationship dynamics um you're going to make some alliances or make some uh, friendships that can lend to your the dynamic of your relationship moving forward sobriety um maybe you're going to make some more uh okay so you're going to have some sobering change something changes and then that kind of sobers you up to the fact that okay shit just got real that could be for the good or the bad yeah maybe a hobby that you are you can now monetize or take it serious and then things will get real keep in mind you're stronger than you know you can deal with a lot or you have dealt with a lot uh don't give up don't give in or don't fold is what the cards are saying volunteer also um maybe you need to get with a mentor mentorship apprentice i don't know also something about tennessee the state of tennessee if you're in the states um it also talks about um saying what you need to say maybe within a work setting volunteer don't be called on put yourself first yeah there could be a windfall of good luck money energy you see that jesus these lights all right good okay windfall good luck money energy definitely money coming into you something happens all of a sudden okay but you have to be motivated to go after it some of you are going to um retire something that you're doing and go into something else and it could be something about social work or, or helping people or working with people supporting people in, in some fashion this is what i have for you if it resonates for you go over to the website book there ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below this is what i have for you um catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time you can also come learn the tarot with me if you're feeling moved to do so take care many blessings